Good evening, everybody. Today we're going to be doing our homework for uh, more two-step equations. So let's begin. I'm going to do the odd. So I'll start with number 15. If I do this uh, equation first, I have to realize that I'm dealing with the distribution problem first. So this is 12 times x minus 20 equals negative 48. I have to distribute this 12 to everything inside of the parentheses. So 12 times x, well, that's going to be 12x. Uh, then 12 times negative 20, well, that's going to be a negative 240. And all this is going to equal negative 48. And now I have my two-step equation ready to go. Uh, let's see how we get this. Um, well, first I'll have to add 240 to both sides because I want to get x by itself. We both know whatever I do to one, I do to the other. So I need to get x by itself, so I'm going to get rid of the number first. The opposite of negative 240 is positive 240. Whatever I do to one side of the equal sign, I have to do to the other side of the equal sign. This is going to leave me 12x over here. And on this side, I've got uh, 240 minus 48. Excuse my calculator here. We got a 240 minus 48. That's going to leave us 192. Now I have to see how many 12, how many times 12 goes into 192. I get this because I realize I need to get 12 away from x. The only way to do that is to divide it by 12, because any number over itself equals 1. And now I have 1x left over. And now I have to see what 192 divided by 12 is. Well, 192 divided by 12 is 16. So I know that x is 16. All right, let's go to number 17. That says t plus 9 times 20 equals 140. Once again, I have to go ahead and put uh, multiply this to everything that's inside my parentheses. So 20 times t is 20t. And uh, 9 times 20, well, that's going to be uh, 180. Now this is going to equal 140. Well, first of all, I've got to get rid of this uh, 180, get it to this side. So I'm going to subtract 180. And of course, whatever I do to one side, I do to the other. And I have 20t. is equal to, that's going to leave me 40. More specifically, a negative 40. And now I have to see how many times 20 goes into negative 40. Well, to get 20 away from t, I have to divide by 20. Whatever I do to one side, the equal sign, I do to the other. And 40 divided by, or negative 40 divided by 20, well, that's going to give me a negative 2. All right, let's go on to number 19. Number 19, uh, I'm going to be multiplying uh, <clears throat> d minus 3 to 2 fifths, and this is going to equal um, 30. Well, just like if I had 2 fifths over in the front, uh, I automatically know I've got uh, 2 fifths times d, so that's going to be 2 fifths d.
And then I have to see uh, what it's negative 3 times 2 fifth. I know it's going to be negative because a negative times a positive is a negative. 3 times 2 is 6, and that's going to be over 5. So that's going to be 6 over 5. And all this is going to equal 30. All right, now I have to go ahead and get rid of this negative 6 over 5. So I'm going to add 6 over 5. But if I do this, uh, I have to add 6 over 5 over here. This can get a little tricky now because now we have 30 plus 6 over 5. Well, 6 over 5 we know is 1 and 1 fifth. Um, so in all actuality, I've got uh, 2 fifths D. And I'd have to add that to or say that it equals um, 31 and 1 fifth. Now I've got to look at this carefully and realize I've got two fifths and I want to divide it into this. All right. Uh, now, if I divide two fifths, I have to remember that what I'm really doing is multiplying five over two, the reciprocal of two fifths to each side. Uh, but now I've got to also take 31 uh, and one fifth and turn it into an improper fraction. Well, five times. Uh, 31, wow, that's going to be a big number. Uh, let's use our calculator. 31 times 5 equals 155. And when we add one, it's going to be 156. So this is really 156 over 5. And uh, now we have to multiply that to 5 over 2. And now I can use the butterfly method to go ahead and get rid of my 5s. I can also use the butterfly method to get rid of this 2. Now i got to figure out what is half of 156. Well, 156 divided by 2. Seventy-eight. So that means uh, D equals seventy-eight. Sorry about that. Okay, uh, and that's our answer. Seventy-eight. Uh, I think we have one more problem that we can do. Oh, two more. Let me get on 21 here. Solve each equation. Check your solution. Uh, if we check it, we got 1 and 3 fifths times t uh, minus 6 equals a negative uh, 0.4. Wow, they got fractions and decimals here. So let's see what we do first. First, let's take, uh, let's take this and turn it into an improper fraction. We got five, uh, and really we could turn this into a fraction uh, or, or into, and then into a decimal. We could turn this into a fraction. Let's see what works out for us. Five times one is five, five plus three is eight. So this is gonna be eight over five. T. And then we have to, uh, multiply 8 over 5 times negative 6. Well, positive times a negative will be a negative. Uh, and 8 times 6 is going to be 48. Uh, so this would be 48 over 5. And then we could say this equals, well, what is point, uh, 4, negative point 0.4? will be a negative, uh, well, 0.4, we said, is 4 over 10, 
right? Because uh, 0.4 uh, turning into a fraction is 4 over 10. Remember, we put a 0 underneath each number and then put a 1 in front of it. But that can be reduced to uh, 2 over 5. So let's just say uh, all this is equal to um, negative 2 over 5. Uh, now we've got to go ahead and combine these numbers. Well, first I'll have to add um, 48 over 5 to this side. And then whatever I do to one side, of course, I do the other. And now uh, that's 48 minus 2, so that's going to give me 46 over 5. And now I've got a 8 over 5. T equals 46 over 5. Well, once again, since this is a fraction, I'll multiply it to its reciprocal, which is 5 over 8. And of course, whatever I do to one side, I have to do to the other. So I'll multiply this by 5 over 8. Well, my 5s are eliminated. And now I have um, 8 and a 46. Well, um, I know that, um, let's see, I can divide 8 by 2 and get 4. And I can divide 46 by 2 and get uh, 23. I think that's the extent of what we're going to be able to do there. So 23 times 1 is 23. And 1 times 4 is 4. And now it's time to simplify, because this is an improper fraction. Uh, 4 goes into 23 five times. Uh, there will be 3 left over, so it will be 5 and 3 fourths. All right, last one. Mr. Gomez bought fruit to make a fruit salad. He bought 2.5 pounds of apples and spent $4 on apples and oranges. Write and solve an equation to determine the number of pounds of oranges he bought. Well, he bought fruit to make a fruit salad. He bought two and a half pounds of apples. So, okay. Uh, and he spent $4.50 uh, on apples and oranges. Okay. Spent, he bought two and a half pounds of apples. Okay. Apples. Uh, he bought two and a half pounds and then he spent $4.50 okay. uh, on apples and oranges. Write and solve an equation to determine the number of pounds of oranges Mr. Gomez bought. Well, if we look over here, uh, he bought uh, 1.2, right? 1.2 pounds of apples and uh, 1.2 pounds of oranges, right? So we know apples, the amount of pounds for apples and oranges are the same, okay? So um, let's see, he bought, uh, Two and a half pounds of apples. Oh, this is the price of it. Okay, so they were dollar twenty each. Okay, so what we have here is uh, we know that he bought two and a half pounds. Uh, we could say two and one half, and we know that's going to be times. Uh, see the apples were uh, one twenty. So let's see. Uh, Oh, well, we know that that's going to be 1.2, uh, 0 times, you know, we know that there's uh, apples were times 
and I don't want to put the X there. I forgot where. And the higher math, no. So uh, times uh, 2.5. And then we also have, uh, let's see. If you bought the fruit to make a fruit salad, you bought two and a half pounds of apples and spent four fifty on apples and oranges. So that means the whole total is going to be four fifty, four point five. All right. So I don't know. Um, I don't know what the uh, oranges are. So I'm just going to say the oranges are X since I don't know what they're at. So I also know I paid one dollar and twenty cents. Uh, and that's going to be multiplied to X. You see why I'm doing this. Now I have a formula. I can say that I have a 1.20 times, right, we're crossing these out, uh, 2.5 plus X. And all this is equaling $4.50. See how we do that? This is what we have. This is uh, the amount of pounds of apples. We want to find out how many pounds of oranges we bought. And this is the price, right? So uh, let's go ahead and work this out. Uh, 120 times uh, 1.20 times 2.5. 1.20. Times 2.5. Well, that equals three. So we got three uh, plus, that was three. Now this is going to be uh, 1.20x. Uh, and that's going to equal 4.5. And now uh, I subtract three from both sides so I can get that x alone. And that's a 1.20x um, equals 1.50. All right, so now I have to go ahead and work this, uh, uh, the division on this, because since there's multiplication here, we do the opposite. And that leaves me X, but whatever I've done to one side, I have to be willing to do to the other. And remember, this is division, not subtraction. So we need to know what uh, 1.50 divided by 1.2 is. Well, 1.5 uh, divided by 1.2 that's 1.25. So uh, we bought, as far as pounds goes, um, 1.25 pounds. And if I was to put that in a fraction, that would be 1 and 1 fourth pound. And that is it for number 23. I hope that helped, and I'll see you in class.